Hello, Burger King employees. Today, we're going to introduce you to an exciting new menu item, grilled dogs. What up, doll? You know me, Snoop D-O-double-G, live and direct from the BK. Today, we're training y'all about the newest menu item, grilled dogs, hot dogs grilled to perfection. Break out the burners, because we grilling this dog my way. Bikinis, martinis, zucchinis. Yeah, you know the rest. <laughs> okay, I hadn't seen that before. Burger King announced it's adding hot dogs to its menu. And they even got the world's most famous dog. Yeah, you saw him there, Snoop Dogg, to teach employees how to properly grill the dogs. Burger King is one of several fast food chains that have decided to switch up their menus to boost sales. Starting February 23rd, they'll be offering two types of dogs. Classic grilled and chili cheese. Mm. Kate Taylor, a retail reporter for Business Insider, joins us now. Hey, Kate, how are you? Hey, I'm good. Thanks for having me here. Thanks for being with us. So this is interesting. We saw McDonald's offer its all-day breakfast, and it actually paid off. Is Burger King hoping to have the same kind of success here? I think they are. They're kind of introducing this as a whole category, just not one new item. So they can build on from this. They have chili and classic right now, but they can keep adding more items if it does well. And they've tested it pretty extensively, so people apparently are liking it. Yeah, are we going to see more fast food chains switching up their menus? I think so. I think that McDonald's doing so well with all-day breakfast has really kind of made people want to have very impactful new menu offerings, which I think Burger King has already done. Um, they had the chicken fries that did super well. So when people are able to choose or when chains are able to choose the products in a way that works very well. Yeah. I mean, why not? Yeah, right. Well, this is interesting, too. A little bit of fast food history. Ray Kroc, the former CEO of McDonald's, famously uh, banned hot dogs uh, from the franchise. Uh, he said that even in his autobiography, he said in his autobiography, there's a damned good reason we should never have hot dogs. There's no telling what's inside a hot dog's skin, and our standard of quality just wouldn't permit that kind of item. Now, despite that, McDonald's did actually try to debut a McHot dog at certain locations in the late 90s. I don't remember that at all, but it was a flop. And I wonder here, is this a cautionary tale, perhaps, for Burger King? Are they mindful of that? Well, I think that Burger King is really, really trying to emphasize the quality. Uh, no mystery meat. They're doing kind of the grilled hot dog. Um, they aren't trying to go for the cheapest option available. So instead of having maybe a $1 deal, they're having $1.99 and $2.29, I believe. So I think that they're really, instead of trying to have this be a value menu item, they're trying to show it's quality item. It's just a new thing you can get at Burger King. Okay, finally, what is the verdict? Because you actually tried it, right? I did. I did. I tried them both, the chili cheese dog and the classic. Um, I really liked the classic. I thought the chili cheese was a little bit too greasy for me, but the classic, I mean, it's something that you would get at a barbecue. It was, that's really all you need when you're looking for a hot dog. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Kate Taylor, thank you so much. Thank you.